Hey everyone, it's Will, and today we're talking about how to make a pop-out portrait. Get your subject on the canvas and make a circle by holding shift and dragging with your ellipse tool. Set the stroke to 1 and get rid of the fill, we don't need it. Center the circle in the middle of your canvas and then line up your subject to be where you want them. I'm positioning it so her head is just poking up above the top of the circle, just a little bit. Once you've got that sorted out, hold command or control and click on the thumbnail of your circle. Now click on your subject and make a layer mask. Perfect. Select your brush tool and click on the layer mask. With the color set to white, draw back over the part that we want to go outside of the circle. Now command control click the thumbnail for your circle again and select the magic wand tool. Hold shift and click on your subject's head. And as you can see, she's got a hat which makes it really easy to wrap around her head for me. And if you have a more complicated one, it's still super easy. You might just want to use a different tool like the pen or object selection tool. Now hit M for your marquee tool, right click and hit select inverse. Bring up your brush again, and this time with black, we're just going to go over everything that we just highlighted to erase it. Finally, set the stroke of the circle to zero, and bingo, we've got a pop out portrait. Now we could stop here, but just to make it look a teensy bit nicer, I'm going to add a drop shadow. So double click on that ellipse layer to bring up this window and click drop shadow. Now I'm going to set my opacity to 50%, the blending mode to overlay and the angle to 90 degrees. From there, I'm just gonna fiddle with my size and spread, just keep it subtle, and we're all done. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, We've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.